The guys' season was a, another very good year. We um, trained very, very well all through the fall, September, October, November. We were healthy, we swam well. I think that uh, for both the men and the women, we really amped up how we did in the weight room and our dry lands. Um, Sam Davy did a really good job this year individualizing our weight room workouts and, and revamping our dry lands. And I think that as much as the team suffered early in the year, they so they reap the benefits of that in the back half of the year. Winning 14 consecutive conference championships is definitely uh, a big plus and it was definitely a tighter meet than it was last year. We lost a lot of depth though, so we had to really come together as a team uh, in the final hour as Al said it to make sure that we were able to get that 14th title but it was, we everyone did that and everyone did their job and so we got that and it was pretty awesome. We were happy about that. Well, we, we put it together at the end of the year and we we're four fortunate to come uh, come away with our 14th consecutive championship. Yeah, it, it's it's an interesting number. I get asked about that a lot. Um, actually, it's a lot of pressure because you go into a meet and uh, you know if you haven't won in a few years, it's uh, you know it's you want to win and uh, going into the meet you, you 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 go for it. But if you you win year after year, it's like there's a target on your back and everybody's trying to take you out. And it just uh, with each passing year adds a little bit more pressure. It was a very exciting season. The conference is deeper and stronger than it's ever been. We um, had a three-way battle really going into the, uh, the meet between uh, lacrosse, whitewater, and point. And uh, we knew that every point counted. And it was the first time since I've been here, the first time in 16 years, that the meet came down to the last relay. It came at the championships. Whoever won the last relay won the meet. So uh, luckily, we pulled that off. And uh, um, at that meet, Everybody that realistically could have gotten into NCAAs did. I allow the team has been there before, so I mean, I guess there's, there's it's more excitement than nerves, I would say. I think we're going to do well. I hope that we are able to go top eight in our relays again. We'll have some individuals hopefully go top eight individually, top 16. So um, my, I'm, I have a positive outlook on how it's going to be, and so I'm excited to get there and see what happens. I really think that at this point, going in, if we're healthy, which it looks like we're going to be, and we re-taper well, um, I think we could put four of our men's relays top eight at the national championships, and uh, between that and some individual swims, I think we have a shot of going top ten as a team again if we put it all together down in Houston. Just stay mentally tough and you know, try, to, try to stay healthy. That's huge. If, if you go into the meet you know, healthy, feeling good, you're going you're gonna to swim well. And with, a, you know, with an open mind, you get ready to race, you're going to do really well.